everybody, Master Mustiller here with our advanced one steps this cycle. I've got Jack helping me out on this. So, starting off, number one, ready. I want the inside of my attacker. So, I'm going to step, I'm going to be setting my arms this way because I'm going to simultaneously do an outer forearm block and a reverse outside knife hand strike. So, I'm stepping, making that block and that strike to the neck all at the same time. From here, I'm going to grab elbow, from here, knee, and two sets back. One more time, ready. As I step on here, as I step, left leg is going to go because his side is right side steps, it's one of the same side. From this position, outer forearm block is coming across at the same time that the knife hand strike hits, then I'm pulling in reverse elbow strike and knee. For number two of the advanced one steps, ready. This time I want the outside of the individual. I'm going to sidestep as I do, or do an open step as I do a reverse hooking block and grab. Side kick is going to go toward the knee. My body is going to turn. My left foot in this case is going to be stepping. And I'm going to do a hammer fist to the elbow. Then I'm going to bring my arm across his neck as I have his arm straightened. I'm going to pull back with my arm as I turn with my body, pulling this one. This would actually pull or separate the shoulder and arm area. Let's so see that from the other side so you can get that angle. And ready, hooking block and grab. The side kick goes to the knee. My foot steps in, almost like I'm in a chin B stance as I hammer fist the elbow. Arm goes across and turn as I pull back for the break. When you are executing this, make sure you're very careful doing this in class. We don't want to turn too far. Those are our advanced one steps for this cycle.